I have known for quite a while through the glass at Stourbridge. We've been collecting glass for about 15 years. It is, it is different. Each glassmaker's got their own thing, but Richard's is different. Each time you come, he's done something new. He's now um, sort of branching out and um, I think creating a lot of um, styles that he loves doing rather than uh, maybe set styles that he used to do in Okra. Um, he's just extremely creative and um, the, the products are, are always beautiful. Uh, when he's making the piece of glass, you have no idea what it's going to turn out like. And then when it's finished, goodness me, it looks like a tree, and it really does look like a tree. And it's, uh, it's, it's almost magic to see how he does that. So he, he makes the, as you've seen, the tree vases, and we've now got a collection of those. I think I've got six different tree vases. So although they're all the same to anybody else, but they're very special. It's a lovely venue, a very interesting venue. You know, we often come and spend the whole day here. It's a great day out and it's a fantastic setting. So I'm pretty envious to be honest. So this today is the first time since they were students, they've actually uh, made glass together. So it's quite an occasion. Since then we've come every time they've had something special on, we've been here and I've now got about 15 pieces of their glass. It's good to see Richard working with, with other people and kind of blending the styles together. This is the first time I've been to Station Glass. It's, uh, it's been a tremendous experience. I really enjoyed it. Once you collect from one maker, you, know, you, you tend to get the same sort of thing. Whereas always, there's always something different to see at Richard's and it, it's just lovely.